procurement silo sigma will likely be the first one you come across and is located just southeast of the eastern railway junction and it's going to be northwest of myers market approximately right here on the map upon entering you're just going to follow the normal route Kill the ads that spawn around here. This elite here is going to drop the Rosetta V3 access card. Now, if you continue on straight and you turn right, you're going to have a weapon crate in here. And in here is just going to be a storage crate, some extra loot. Obviously, you get a chance from looting stuff to get a paper doll. If, if ads shoot you when you open a chest, they won't let you loot it. Then you're going to go in through this vent system. I recommend rolling right at the beginning of it because you're forced to crouch, which can take a while. You're going to ignore this first left since it's a dead end. Continue right here and just follow it through. You're going to see this ladder here. Climb up the ladder, roll through this way, ignore that right turn, there's nothing there. Come out here, you're going to have more Rosetta guards in this location here. But if you come out the vent and you come right here to the right, this is where you can use the access card. And this is the secret room. Going to run through here, go to the right. You're going to enter the seepage zone. Upon entering the seepage zone, you're going to interact with this, and it's going to be just like a, like a hard point capture or something like that. You're just going to stay in this zone while mobs spawn. Depending on the level when you do this, um... You just want to kill the mods as quick as possible, so they don't overwhelm you in the zone. And once the church hits 90%, it's going to spawn the claw machine boss. Right there. This teddy bear is his weak spot. Once you get him, you finish letting it charge to 100. If there's any ads left over, once the event finishes, they'll instantly die. And this, looting right here, is how you get the opportunity to get Mr. Wish, who is a pretty coveted combat deviant in this game. And that's the secret room. And you just run right back out here. You go up these stairs. Now in here, there is a ladder you can take. I just fly over. In here is going to be a gear crate. You're just gonna come back over here. Once you move through here, off to your right, this is where the end of the dungeon slash boss is. Take him down, your end loot here is here, and congratulations, you just cleared Securement Silo Sigma. The next one, which is going to be Securement Silo I, 
is going to be located just northwest of Greywater Camp, right here. Once entering, you're just going to follow the path down here. You're going to have a storage crate right here. Come through this room, open this door. You hook over here to the left, and you open this door, come through here. I'm gonna find a couple storage crates in here. Just a little loot room. Watch out for these guys that explode. They're not very nice. Another storage crate here. And this is going to be where the secret room is located. Once you come in this big room, take out the deviants. Oh! Open up this gear crate right here. It's going to have an access card in it. Now you can take out a Molotov, which I don't have on me. That's my bad. But you can burn that. And there's a gear crate in there for you. Now once you loot the thing, the quest would tell you to go over here, that's the main way to go. But to get to the secret room, you're going to want to head over here to the elevators. Open it up. And go ahead and hit start and head up the elevator. Once you take the elevator out, you're going to head to the left here and enter the seepage zone. Answer the telephone. This door is going to open. Come in here. Let the cutscene play out. That door is going to open again for you. Kill the deviants in here. I'm gonna head through this door. And in here, that's where you're gonna get your loot. Now there's also a potential deviant spawn right here. No spoilers, but keep an eye out for that. You know, step through this door. And you'll be back in the hospital facing the exit. Just like before, run through the seepid zone. Get to your elevator. And take it back up. And that would be the secret zone in Securement Silo 5. Exit the elevator, and continue over to this main door here.
Once you open it up, there's going to be a little storage crate hiding in this corner right here. Go through this door. This is where you're going to fight the main boss. You have to eliminate the nuts, nest sacks. After you take out the final one, a boss is going to spawn. His weak spot is a gas bag that'll slum for a few minutes, and you can shoot him in the head. Now, I do recommend running around this room. Uh, there's a lot of storage crates in this room. You're going to find a gear crate in here. Then over on this side, you're going to find a regular storage crate. Over here, you're going to find another storage crate. You've got a storage crate up on top of this. Head over here. Storage crate in here. And that's it for the storage crates. Now you're free to leave the dungeon. And you have officially completed Securement Silo 5. Next up, we have Securement Silo Theta. This is a recommended level 45 one, so this is when things start getting a little bit more difficult. This one is just northeast of the Blackfelt oil fields and just north well, northwest excuse me, of the HP Evolution Institute. In this one, you're going to come straight down here. Don't worry, the falls aren't enough to break your legs. And you need to go through the sewers, and you need to break all of these black ulcers. There's only, there's going to be three more ulcers in that room to the right. Stick off to the left here, you can get more loot. Excuse me. Once you take that, you'll see the notification at the top saying that's nest sack cleanup complete. Now, before you head into the seepage zone, I recommend heading up here. Once coming up this ladder, you're going to head off to the right. There's going to be a storage crate and a few more deviants.
come back over here. You're gonna have more storage crates. And then you're gonna have a bunch of spiders over here. Now if you remember where you came out, out at, or came in at, it was right here. You're gonna come this way. You're gonna see that this door is no longer blocked. Once you take out the nest sacks, you're gonna have a weapon crate as soon as you walk in. You're gonna interact with the statue here. It's gonna teleport you into the seepage zone, and you're gonna take this all the way down. Now there are no threats initially. You're going to be in this mirrored room. You need to look at these statues and look at the reflections, and you need to match them to their reflections. All you have to do is walk up to them and rotate. You're going to get deviated status detected, and this guy is going to come out. Break the gas bag, it's gonna stun him. Then you shoot his head. Once you kill him, your loot's gonna spawn here. And it has a chance to drop a deviant. It's a combat deviant. I won't spoil which one it is. It's my personal favorite combat deviant. I'm gonna climb back up this ladder. And you're gonna run right back outside of the seeping zone. To do that, you just re-interact with this statue. Just like that. back through here and you're gonna go off to the right here now these won't follow you through so what I recommend is you just speed run through this part try not to hit those because they will hurt come through here and you come off to the right now this is where the the bridge to the final boss is here so you're gonna take this up I fly across here you can have the storage crate right here I want to be careful with this so that they don't knock you down. You have a gear crate here. And a storage crate here. And then you're going to come over here and jump through this big pipe. Now I very, very much recommend, if you are a high enough level, doing this silo solo, because this fight gets really, really difficult when you have more than one person. Once you drop in, St. Owl is going to spawn, and just like any of the other gluttons, you're going to shoot him in his weak spots. Once you break all three of those, he's going to come down and expose his large weak spot. And you're going to want to burst him down as fast as possible. There you go. Get your loot. Leave dungeon. And that is Securement Silo Theta. We have Securement Silo Psi, which is personally, in my opinion, the most difficult one to do. It is going to be just northeast of the brewery workshop. Located right here on the map. Now the reason I find this one the most difficult to do is because it's got Rosetta. And they've got snipers, a lot of snipers. So I very much recommend coming in with buffs and the correct weapons.
Make sure to dodge these sniper guys, because when they hit you, they will stagger you. This room gets really difficult, because there's a lot of enemies. You have two snipers in the very back. Now you're going to want to make sure you avoid the patrollers, and it's going to spawn more ads. We have a storage crate right here. Don't do what I do, or you loot right in the middle of combat. Now those patrollers are going to be your number one priority whenever you see them. Patrollers will haze you and stun you if you let them get too close. Ow. I recommend taking out this top sniper first. Once you have all of the guys taken out in this room, you loot this storage crate right here. That's going to have the Rosetta access card for you. Got another storage crate here. Go over here and use the Rosetta access card. I find using a sniper rifle here is going to be your best bet. As you can tell, I'm quite terrible at snipers. Once you take out these guys, you're going to have perfect access to these guys here. Now, if you go over here in the water, you jump across here. Okay, well, I fell, but you can jump across there because I was looting. Come down here, loot the storage crate up there, and you come through here. This is also another little difficult room. Once you kill, 
Once you defeat all the enemies, you can move on to the next area. You do have a med kit over here. You're going to come through this door. There's going to be another enemy, or a few more enemies, sorry, at the end of the hallway. But if you hook an immediate left, you got storage crate here. Now in here, you've got four to five mobs. Got another gear crate right here, once you kill the mobs. Storage crate here. Press this keypad. This is where things get mission impossible. So, there's a gear crate right over here. You can dodge these lasers. It's actually pretty easy. <laughs> okay, it's easier when you're not me. I just did that to show you uh, what happens. Yeah, that was... Uh, that's why I did that. Once you get through here, if you press this button, it will turn off the laser traps behind you. You can loot this laser crate. Or gear crate? Laser crate. Now, to my knowledge, and through my research, and doing it several times, there is no steepage zone, but there is sort of a secret room here, which you can find right here. I'm just gonna blow it up with the explosives, even though that thing didn't go anywhere. Once you blow this room up, there's just some storage crates you can loot. Or not even storage crates you can loot in here. Med kits, stuff like that. Nothing else in this room, as you can see. Come through here. More lasers. You just stick to the left, and then hug a right. It gets pretty easy. And then you're going to come interact with this terminal here. And this is going to open up the final boss room. Now this, in my opinion, is the hardest silo boss in the game. So you've got the fridge. Once you wake him up, he's going to wake up these Rosetta soldiers right here. So you're going to want to be prepared and take them out. The fridge itself, is it's pretty easy to dodge its attacks. You're going to wait for it to open its freezer, I guess. And then you're going to shoot right inside. Now, once you take out its shield, it's going to spawn a generator that makes it immune. To deal with that, you're going to want to look for these wires and follow them up. The generators will always spawn in the same place, there's a total of two of them. Now when you come up here, there's going to be two more Rosetta soldiers. Here, you're gonna try not to break your leg. Now there's usually an ice spike sitting in that, but there isn't currently, which is fine. You can go down the stairs if there is no ice spike in that area, and you can pick one up telekinetically, because there's several on the ground down there, and you're gonna shoot at the black door. Once you do that, the black door is gonna open up. And you're going to shoot the generator till it explodes. Now, the fridge can be injured again.
And it's just a standard boss fight, aside from the generator that adds that it spawns, you're just gonna avoid its attacks. Now it's immune again. So this next one... This is where he's gonna wake up all the rest of the adds in the room. The next one is right there. Get yourself an ice spike, same deal. And there you go. Once you kill the fridge, adds will despawn. Made at the top of the hill where you killed the fridge is where he's going to drop his treasure chest. We can leave the dungeon. And that is Securement Silo Sai. Now, there is a lot to Once Human, and I believe I hit every silo in this video. If I didn't, and I missed something, or maybe I missed some weapon and gear crate locations, please make sure to put it in the comments below so people can look down in the comments and get the information that they were originally looking for when they clicked on this video. But also, let me know what you're thinking about this game. This is easily my favorite game of 2024. I'm looking forward to making more guides on it, more videos, so make sure you like, make sure to subscribe, because I'm super close to the 1,000 milestone, and, I mean, uh, at 1,000 subs, I'll just keep it frank with you guys, that lets me monetize content, which is great, so, make sure to subscribe, and thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.